Hope it's Hacker Triple O Seven, and in today's video, I have an awesome video for you based on the Yosemite wallpaper. It's a desktop customization video. So in this video, we're using the Yosemite wallpaper from the new Mac OS X to create an awesome Windows desktop. What we're going for here is this look right here. So we have a nice wallpaper, nice widgets on the side here, weather, and overall, it's actually a nice wallpaper widget combination. So in order to do this, it's not that hard. Down, down a couple things, and we'll get this going within 10 minutes. The first thing you want to download, if you don't already have it, is Rain Meter. Rain Meter is simply a skinning application for Windows. allows you to put skins on top of a wallpaper. So if you don't already have the software, feel free to download it and install it. After you download that, make sure you download the folder below that I put on Media Fire. It's simply a Yosemite um, setup folder with the official wallpaper in I think maybe 4 or 5K, as well as two skins that we'll need to install. So install Rain Meter. Now what you want to do is make sure there's no skins on the desktop. So I have Rain Meter running right now, but you can't tell because there's no skins. So what you want to do is make sure you go to all skins, right click them, and unload the skin. So for example here, I'll just throw a skin on. So let's say I have, you're gonna have a skin sitting somewhere. What you wanna do is just simply right click on it and click unload skin. Do that to all the skins until they're all gone. Then go to the setup folder that I downloaded or you downloaded and then right click the wallpaper and set as wallpaper. Then click the, that messed up. Then click each of the individual files here and install them. So just double click it and click install. After you have all the things ready to go, what you want to do now is simply open up Rain Meter and we'll get applying the skins. So head over to the Enigma thing here, the folder Enigma. And if it's not there, that means you haven't installed the Enigma theme yet, which means go back here and open up Enigma and install it. Then go to sidebar, go to sidebar two and cl click on it and then click load. You should see your sidebar show up right here. Next thing we'll do now is simply start applying it so that it looks like this. Now, of course, you can do anything you want. If you don't want these skins here, you can feel free to Google your own and go over, go over one of my past videos and apply it. It's completely up to you. But for this video though, I will just use the ones that are in the wallpaper or the preview. So first thing first is the calendar one. So click calendar and we're doing calendar week. Click load, simply drag it over. Any skins do not show up in the correct spot, just take them and drag them over. Then we'll go over to the weather one. Weather has two different ones that has simply weather, like that right there, or you can do weather extended, which shows a bit, a bit bigger. I'll use that one. And it should grab your information right away. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do network. So head over to network and go to network graph or network, whatever one you like, but I like the graph one. And graph can show up right there. And it will show your ups and downs. The more you're on the internet, the more it'll go up and down. Next I'm gonna do system. I'm gonna do system graph. Pull that on there. The reason they're showing up in a good spot is because I recently applied the skin before the video started to make sure that it worked correctly. And so I put them there and when I unloaded them, they go back to wherever they were previously. The next one we're gonna do is music. So simply hit music. And there's different variations, but music art is pretty much the best one because it has the picture, but still has the information so you can go back and forward, etc. And last one I'm gonna do here is simply volume load volume in there and we're pretty much good to go. So now you can organize them around um, to your liking. And there you go, you're pretty much good to go. Now, of course, if you don't like anything, feel free to uninstall a skin or change it, whatever it may be. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them below as well. Now you can change the dimensions of most of these skins simply by going to the edit part here and just changing the information. But I would go online and definitely check it out. I'll make sure you know how to change it, etc. The next one to do is apply that, we're gonna apply that um, 
time widget there. So what we're going to do now is head over to the Aperture Labs folder. If it's not there, that means you didn't install the Aperture Labs skin. So make sure you install that one before this. And go over to the Aperture Labs. And what we'll do is we'll go to Secondary Clock and click Load. And it should apply them pretty nicely. And you're going to notice though, it's 1718. I don't like 24 hour time. You may, so if you like it, then leave it. If you do not though, head over to edit. And we'll do as we'll go to the measure time variable here and simply change the H to I. Click save and then click reload or refresh, sorry. And it should change it to 0519, which is a little better. And of course you can also click the secondary date which will apply that date below and you can drag it so it nicely sets up and there you go you're pretty much good to go for that so there you go guys that pretty much wraps up this video so if you guys enjoy this video definitely leave a thumbs up if you have any questions comments or concerns leave them below as well rain is an awesome program you can do many skins so of course you can replace any of these skins with better or different ones whatever it may be if you altered this uh rain meter setup here definitely send a screenshot to my twitter or facebook page and I like it. Anyways, guys, though, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. Any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. And besides that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in another video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.